part of Soap Epiphany to me um, is how many baby companies, baby startups, two and three people in a garage, um, this legislation would affect. Um, and essentially it would break their businesses and they uh, essentially break the internet for a lot of these people trying to create it. To me the worst part is a complete lack of due process, the ability to shut down a website with no trial, and the fact that uh, website operators will be responsible for the crazy things their users put online. Uh, the user-created internet is what makes the internet wonderful, and this would be the end of that. The worst part is that it actually does not solve the problem it is trying to solve, and it it is very destructive in the, in the process of trying to solve that problem. It was clearly written by people who don't understand the internet, who don't work in the internet, who haven't built um, products in which, which would be threatened by the very legislation um, that is that is being used, um, you know, to prevent piracy. And it, it it is it is not solving the problem that it is purported to solve, and in, instead does a lot of collateral damage. The legal system is being hijacked to be able to uh, disable online innovation and online communication. And with, um, without justification, um, that could cause uh, services like YouTube and the next service that somebody comes up with to be taken down because somebody doesn't like what's being said. I think the worst part of SOPA and PIPA for me are the way that they lend support to the idea of dividing the internet along national lines and creating a different version of the internet in each country. I find that idea very disturbing, and I think the U.S. has stood against that idea in the past, and SOPA and PIPA have the potential to reverse that, and lend support to the idea of national firewalls blocking sites at a national level. SOPA breaks the internet. That's like breaking an ecosystem where you remove water, you remove earth, you remove air, and the consequences are unpredictable. SOPA is, uh, is messing with an ecosystem that, uh, if it's given a chance to work by itself, well, it's already brought us great things. So the worst part of SOPA is that it would affect my startup directly, uh, because we have members in 200 countries who use our platform to share content with each other. So our site's called Tripping. It's all about cultural exchange, and so they a lot of times will share their favorite videos, uh, things that are going on in their in their cities. Um, and what this bill would do is it would shut that down, so our members wouldn't be able to share their cultures and learn about each other. Um, and that's a huge threat not only uh, to our website, but then to the world at large, I think. There's a large amount of innovation that will still continue on even if we do shut down the internet. What this reminds me a lot of is, is when they actually censored Galileo or the Vatican did during the Renaissance, which actually moved the science of pollution up to Northern Europe. Innovation will continue without us. However, if we do continue to censor it, it will go away from us. The worst part of Sopa Pippa is how much time the government has spent on regulating our liberties and our innovation instead of the more pressing problems that we're all faced with today. Uh, all the unemployment, all the homelessness, all the you know problems overseas and and, and domestically. Uh, the last thing we need is hurting our own ability to innovate and build companies and employ people. Pip in particular got um, it only got eight minutes of review before it was pushed through all the judicial system. And I mean that really it really bugs me that things that have such a huge consequence to a lot of people, especially the people that are going to be bringing America back or. It doesn't even get reviewed. I feel that the people legislating this might not have a full understanding of the inner functions of the internet. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur and I don't fully understand it all, and I certainly won't want to be making these decisions. So I feel like maybe just some education needs to happen. Um, additionally, I can't figure out why it's not really being picked up by more news stations or just news outlets because this is, you know, a huge. I don't know, a front to our freedom of speech, and I would think that every American citizen would want to know about it and, and actually get upset about it. So I'm confused as to why people aren't talking about it more. Yeah, that's about it. So this is a wearable video display. Um, it has, you know, it works just like any other video display. It has a front, it has a front. And um, I thought I would, I would bring it out and have have some details about you know what the bills are uh, are trying to do, and just you know join the the protest effort.